Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace here, and today's the big day. We've got GameCraft out uh, with lots of new parts and fun stuff to play with. Um, so one thing is scaling. Um, if you hold the control key while you're and hit the use your roller on the mouse, um, you can roll up and scale really big. So this is actually not a very big motor. Uh, you can get really huge. Okay, and then um, same thing with the tire. Um, let's see. We can scale that up and have just a ginormous tire. Um, so that's pretty cool. But what I want to show you today is a couple of different things. Uh, first, I'm going to spend most of my time on logic uh, concepts. Uh, and then, just real briefly, I'll show you uh, the text block and console block. So here is the console block um, and the text block. Uh, so you can change the text here. Uh, if you wanted to make this say italics, you could do like this and that, and that changes it to italics. Um, so here's the console block, and you put in right down at the bottom change text block text com block command, and then you uh, space then which text block are you changing and then what do you want it to say and so I've done that here and and I've also uh, we have the trigger block if an object is entered uh, into the trigger area uh, then it's going to trigger two which is this command block and the command block says put hello here so let's see how those work together. See it says general text. Now I do this. Now it says hello. Ta-da! Um, then this command teleport player relative 10 10 10. So it's going to move my player when I press this button. So let's see how that works. I'll hit one and there we go. I was up in the air and I fell down. Okay, um, the other thing, what I mainly want to talk about is logic. Um, triggers allow us to do some logic blocks. We don't have formal logic blocks in the game yet, but I've got uh, and, or, xor, and nor here to show you. So and works by uh, if both of these are true, then this is true, so this is my my test, basically. So if, if either one of these is off, then it doesn't work, okay? They both have to be on. And the way that works is I have a trigger block here on a piston and then another piston, and so both of these have to come together in order for this block to be in that uh, trigger area. Uh, then we have OR. So OR works if either one of these is true, then this is true. Okay? So they both have to be off in order for this to be not true. And so the way I've got that is I have two pistons um, and one trigger area and so if either piston goes into the trigger area then uh, this piston gets activated and goes shoots up. So that's how the OR works. So this is the XOR gate uh, also known as the exclusive OR and this works if one or the other is on but not both. So if one is on, it's true. If the other is on, it's true. If both are on, it's not true. So the way this one works is I've got two hinges um, and a trigger area and 
you can watch what happens as I press these. One, and this goes into the trigger area. If I put the other one, it, it moves out of the trigger area. And if I do this one, it moves back into the trigger area. And this, and it moves out of the trigger area. So that's how the XOR works. Uh, and then the NOR gate. So the NOR is if either one of these, they both have to be uh, false in order for this to be true. If either one of these is true, then this is false. Okay, so I'll show you that. Uh, we're testing and I turn this. If that one's on, then that's off. This one might be off, on and this is still off and it's still off. So both of these have to be off in order for that to be on. And the way this works, uh, I have two pistons, uh, a trigger area, and so if either one of these pistons gets activated, it gets out of the trigger area, but it starts off in the trigger area. Doors, this is a normal door, okay? That's how you would open a door usually. But let's say you want a door. I'll show you this. It opens on this side. You come through. So the problem with this door is you come through and then how do you close the door? Well, with this door, you can open it on this side. You can walk through and then you can close it on this side. Right? And then you can open it up again, walk through again. So this is using an XOR gate. Um, then another idea is say you want a door that opens for a few seconds and then closes. So I can press this, the door opens, I walk through, and the door closes. Now I haven't set this up with a switch on this side, but you could um, set another switch up on this side so you can do have the same thing happen. So let's see what happens here. I'll stand over here. All right, see, so you see this is an axle that's just turning. And if we look at the trigger area, it's entering the trigger area. It stays in the trigger area for a little while and then it exits the trigger area. And so that's how this basically a, uh, a timer, we have a timer going on here. Ta-da! Another thing to show you. Um, this one I have a motor and a trigger area and the motor is going to go through the trigger, uh, the block is going to go through the trigger area repeatedly. And so if I do that, I've got this on a, a dial, which is a nice new thing. So now I can have something, ob an object that goes on repeatedly. So it's sort of like a clock. Now I notice that uh, as this, this winds down, it doesn't just stop. So I don't know if I like that so much. Uh, I wish it would just stop, but anyway. Um, so now here I've got um, trigger areas, the same setup, but several trigger areas and several uh, items to move. So let's turn that on. So that's interesting. And the last thing I want to show you is the idea that you could make some sort of transformer. Um, so here I've got um, one piston that's uh, not a pneumatic piston but a slow moving piston and it's going to go through three different trigger areas one at a time uh, to trigger three different devices. So let's see what happens. Uh, it's not doing anything special but there, two, three. And then we turn it off and it goes three, two, one. So uh, using this, you might be able to transform a vehicle, um, maybe have a house that transforms from one thing to another. 
So this is uh, this is all I wanted to show you at this point. Um, obviously, I've only had a few hours to work on this, and I've got to go do something else. But I uh, wanted to get this out to you really quickly. Uh, hope you enjoyed this and that you got something out of it. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm definitely going to be continuing to explore um, the new GameCraft um, stuff in the next few days and try to put out some more videos about it. I'm sure there are a lot more configurations. Uh, I, I didn't do an XNOR gate yet, um, but I'll come up with that configuration. Leave me some comments. Um, I'm sure that this could be done differently. Um, you might have some other ideas of uh, what I could show or if you've got stuff that you want me to see I'd be happy to take a look at it. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace